Hello everyone, Kuni Mitzi here. I'm just going to get straight into it. This is not another Dead or Alive video, even though, as you could tell, it has gameplay, but hey, what can you do with one of my favorite series? <laughs> but in all seriousness, I just want to say, guys, leave Raja O'Hara alone. Seriously, do not keep going up to her page every time she does something that you don't like. Seriously, why is it that every single time, every single time a queen does something that you don't like, that she deserves a mountain of hate messages and a mountain of hate threats? It's like, leave her alone. Raja O'Hara, I'm not I'm not her biggest fan on the show, but from talking to her, I can safely tell you that she is not a heartless person. There is no ill will between her and Scarlet or her and Evie. She's on good terms with every contestant in this season. And they're sisters. They bicker. Sisters bicker in real life, so of course they're going to bicker on the show. Just leave her alone. You don't need to be so hateful and send her messages because, look, let me give an example. I do not particularly care that much for the Vixen from Season 10. But I'm not going to sit here and send her hate messages, sending her death threats, racist threats, and all that stuff because one, it's petty. Two, it's a waste of fucking time. Yep, demonetization. It's a waste of fucking time. It's a waste of... Like, literally, it's a waste. What is the point? It's counterproductive. It serves no purpose. And the only thing it does is make you look stupid. So do us a favor and stop sending, I'm not even just saying this to stop sending queens hate. Stop sending people hate in general. You don't have to like these people. You don't. But you don't need to send hate messages to get your point across. I'm sorry. Guess what? I'm not a huge fan of the president we currently have. And guess what? I'm not going to sit there and send messages to him because it's like one it's not my business two he's there for a short time anyways and three it solves nothing one he doesn't he doesn't see the message and two he has a block button so what is the point and another thing I cannot stand is when people is when people stop talking to each other because they have different religious beliefs. Stop talking to each other because they have different political beliefs. I'm sorry. It is petty. No, I don't typically agree with people who are conservative, nor do I agree with a lot of the things they say. But guess what? I'm not going to send them hate. I'm not going to send someone who is a conservative Republican hate because it is a waste of time and believe it or not I know not everyone who is a conservative Republican is a homophobe I know not everyone who is a conservative Republican is transphobic or a bigot I know this I know this that's not a lie to say we don't have to be we don't have to be this nation where we have to tear each other down. Personally, I consider myself more in the middle. I don't really consider myself liberal, but I don't really consider myself conservative. Because I believe on both sides, but there are sides I disagree with on both. And guess what? That's okay. 
seriously, is it really warranted to send death threats to people just to get your point across? No, it isn't. It's not necessarily to send death threats to anybody. Because it solves nothing and it gives them power. Case in point, Miss Anita Sarkeesian. People, you realize the more hate messages, the more death threats, the more, the more you talk shit about her, the more she's going to keep thriving. You're just proving her point when you just keep sending messages. It's one thing to disagree with her and give constructive criticism. It is. You're allowed to do that. But when you don't give constructive criticism... And the only thing you're sending is hate messages, death threats, or calling in bomb threats. Then that's not okay. It isn't. Blair White is another good example. Blair White, I don't think she's a malicious person. Blair White is a good YouTuber. She, as far as I have interacted with Blair, she's been nothing but nice. Do I agree with everything she says? No, I don't agree with everything she says. In fact, there's quite a few things I disagree with. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's okay to send her he to send her hate threats because I've seen the messages she receives. She receives death threats. And you know what? I will mention this YouTuber by name because this is one that I actually openly do not like, but I will never send him hate messages because I've said it so many times in this video alone, it is a waste of time. Hunter Avalon, I do not hate you. I don't agree with hardly anything that you say. In fact, I heavily disagree with a lot of the things that you say, but I am not going to send you hate. I'm going to let you thrive as a YouTuber, and I'm going to let you say whatever the fuck it is you want to say, because that is your right to your opinion, to your free speech. It is. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I don't have a problem with it. I don't agree with everything you say. In fact, I heavily disagree with 99% of your content. But, say what you're going to say. Do what you need to do. And just, you know, say what you're going to say. Because it is your right as a human being, as an American, it is your right to free speech. It is your right as someone from the UK to have free speech. It is your right to have free speech no matter where you live. So guys, if it wasn't if this message wasn't already clear, it's going to be clear in the t in the title of this video. Stop sending hate to any of these people. Unlike before, I will not be posting their channels in the description because I do not want to send hate to any of these channels. I don't. The entire point of this video is the opposite of that. Do not send hate because it is counterproductive. Another person that people need to stop sending hate towards is Eureka O'Hara. Eureka O'Hara... You Drag Race fans are freaking ridiculous. She can't say one freaking word without getting told, without getting told how horrible she is. It's like, guys, she's made mistakes in her lifetime. She's not perf She's not a perfect human being, but nobody fucking is. Okay, let her freaking breathe, because guess what? You're you're allowed to dis just like I said every other person on this list you are allowed 
to dislike anybody on this list. But do not send them hate. Because it gives no purpose. 99% of the time, it's not going to solve nothing. And the other time, the only thing that's going to make you look like when you send hateful death threats and hateful messages in general, it is going to make you look like a bully. Just leave these people alone. Let them be whoever the fuck they are. If they're not hurting anybody, if they're not committing any crimes, then leave them alone. What is Eureka's crime? Oh, what? She said She said a couple things a couple years ago. You're saying people can't change? You guys haven't given this person a chance to change. You guys haven't given these people a single chance to change. Just leave them alone. Yeah. I don't agree with... I don't agree with all the hate that's being sent because it's like... It's like, just leave these people alone. They're not hurting nobody. Just let them, let them live. Let them be human beings. Let them just do what they're going to do and not send hate to these people. I hate that I have to repeat myself so much in this video but it's true what is the point of all this hatred tell me guys what is it that you get off of your chest what is it that you feel you need to do to send hate to these people what is it that you feel you need to do nothing it really doesn't do anything It doesn't do anything. Because it's like, what is the point? Like, do I have to keep repeating myself again and again and again? What is the point? Again, going back to Hunter Avalon. I don't agree with half of his content. I don't agree with a large majority of things that come out of his mouth. In fact, I can tell just from how he speaks that he doesn't know what he's talking about half the time. But I will not send him a hate message. And this is not an attack on him either. Because he is allowed to send whatever he wants to send. He is allowed to talk whatever it is he wants to talk about. Just leave, leave these people alone. Leave Raja O'Hara alone. Leave the Vixen alone. Leave Blair White alone. Leave Hunter Avalon alone. Leave Eureka O'Hara alone. I can keep listing names if you want me to, because there's a lot. Leave Riley Dennis alone. Riley Dennis is someone else that... All they're doing is speaking their opinion and people send them hate messages. There was a video I saw recently that said that person deserves to get hate messages because they're horrible and they don't agree. You don't have to agree with their content. I don't agree with a lot of Riley Dennis's content. But when you send hate messages because you don't agree with somebody, it's pointless. It is pointless, and the only thing that does is make you look like a dick. If this video wasn't clear, I don't know what will. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll send you guys another video in the future. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.